a DIYer, you're probably overwhelmed by the amount of options there are in a paint store. Hi, I'm Mary Elba Circle, Design Account Executive for Sherman Williams, South Florida Metro Area, and I'm here with you today in one of our newest showrooms in Fort Lauderdale to help bring you tips and guidance on how to successfully choose those right paint colors for your home projects. We have expert advice on how to freshen up the paint in your home both indoors and out on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. So painting your home is something that needs to be done every few years, but how often you do it could depend on the type of paint as well as the color that you choose. Today we'll be sharing some expert advice on selecting the right color of paint for your home, knowing when and how to dispose of old paint, choosing fade resistant exterior paint, and so much more. So we are here today at the Sherwin-Williams store in East Fort Lauderdale, and we are joined today by design account executive, Marielle Berserko. Marielle, welcome to Sofla Home Project. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I think one of the biggest questions that we get asked by viewers is, how do I pick the right color paint? Where do we begin in the paint color selection process in a store like this here? Well, that's an excellent question, and this is one that always just comes up with people coming in and saying like, well, you know, I want to redo my home and we're doing the walls, but my flooring is a brown, gray kind of color. Well, bringing in a sample yes. to the paint store is going to be the best tool you have at your advantage because everything you bring in is going to have different hues to it. If you wanted to match something like this, you would bring it in, you start to notice that there are certain colors that pop out. Right. And you start looking at, okay, where in the cover, color wall do I want to start? Let's break down the way this is set up behind us, because I think that's another one of those things that when you go into a paint store, it's like, where on this wall do I begin? The color wall is something that is going to be the most familiar tool for you, because in school, I'm sure everybody remembered how to, the order of the colors in the rainbow. So the color wall actually is going to start with red, orange, yellow, um, it's, it's really going to go down that line to, through the spectrum and end with the whites. And then on the side, we have here the historical colors. So these are specialty these colors. These are specialty colors because, you know, there are some areas like maybe Miami Beach that are going to have historical colors. Every year, there's a very important color that's launched, and that is the color of the year. So Sherwin-Williams has a very uh, a beautiful new color for 2023. So what is that? The new color for 2023 with Sherwin-Williams is actually Reddened Point. SW9081 and it's right here. I love the it color tone. It is tones. beautiful. And actually, so our red end point is actually right here and it is painted. So we've got sample to actual, which is something that we should always do when selecting. Absolutely. It's so good to actually be able to get a bigger sample size. Yes. And one of the things now that we do have are these great peel and sticks. Peel and stick is amazing. So you could literally not have to paint on the wall. And we always want to look at it in different lights as well. After you've tried the peel and stick, then you can go to the color sample and test it out. And then here's a really good tip for that. So most people usually like to go ahead and test out that color sample right in the middle of that wall and that's great. However, if you were to do a larger sample but from baseboard to, you know, a good where size. Where it connects to an end point exactly. like the, the trim pieces. Because people are going to be like, well, is it going to look good with that baseboard color? When I'm helping with the homeowners and clients picking paint colors, I always find if you're painting swatches on a wall that might not be white, it kind of almost skews the color when you're looking at it when it's sort of like this island in the middle of color Absolutely. all around it. So I think that tip is great because you really kind of bring it to an edge, bring it to a kind of a closed area so you could really section off. I love that because we are giving tips all day here on Zublo Home Project. So we are gonna continue sharing that with you when we come back. Coming up, we look at DIY paint match technology on SoFlo Home Project. Hey, Mike Martinez, USA Windows and Doors. We always talk about the importance of in-home consultation. Coming up next, we're gonna show you how it's done on SoFlo Home Project.
Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to talk about all things paint here at the Sherwin Williams in Fort Lauderdale with Marielle Basirco. Marielle, so we have looked at ways to choose paint colors here in the store itself, but there is one app that really makes paint selection so easy and visualization as well. Yeah, absolutely. So Sherwin Williams has this great app, and that is the Color Snap Match app, and it looks just like this if you want to go ahead and download it so you know which one you're downloading. This app is a great tool, like you said, if you wanted to start trying out colors before you even come to the store, there is an application within it that's open instant paint. And so this actually lets you try colors live in that space that you're in. The next app that we have is the Paint a Photo. So Marielle, I actually have used this before. So I've uploaded a photo that I have of a client's room. Perfect. So it's really easy to select. I mean, basically you're just selecting the paint area to kind of highlight the wall space or the ceiling. Exactly. And at the bottom, if you can see that you have up to seven colors, I believe that you can add yep. and start playing around with. It's very intuitive, just pick the color and then tap the space. So it's just so easy to go from this. I mean, then if I wanted to try other colors, it completely absolutely changes up the whole thing. Once you've tested out a color and you want to know a little bit more about it and make sure that it works for your space, you're going to see little tabs on top of the uh, on top of the in color here. section. Yes. So I can go ahead and click on Moroccan Spice right there and it's gonna give me all that information that you would find on that color chip if you were in the store. So once again, it's just bringing everything to the comfort of your home. Can you also share it? Because I'm seeing an opportunity there to share that uh, color as well. Yes, I believe you can. So you can click on that. And then you could share it. It just gives you, once again, that opportunity to really test out any colors or your creativity as to what if I just decided to go bold and, and try that fuchsia-like color in one space of the wall. And I think it's the really a fun way to check this out. And I think a great tool for both interior and exterior. Exactly. Well, this is a great tool. When it comes to paint, picking the color is one thing. The other part of that equation is sometimes matching a color. There may be something you're touching up or you're trying to paint another area of the home where an existing color is. Exactly. And that could be tricky, but you've got something in the app to help with that. Yes. And we're gonna show you how that works. But first, let's check in with Mike Martinez from USA Windows and Doors and see what great advice he has for us today. Mike Martinez from USA Windows and Doors. So we're in the ESW showroom here in Hallandale Beach. What I'd like to do is talk to you about what in-home consultation is all about. We talk about glass and we talk about frames and we talk about all different things because I remember at the end of the day we're looking for a solution that makes sense to you. So when we look at glass, what we need to understand is glass is three parts. An interior glass piece, an exterior glass piece, and then a binder in the middle. In most cases that binder is called polyvinyl butyrol. That polyvinyl butyrol is just a sheet of vinyl that protects when something hits, it stops from coming all the way through. We've got a device set up here and we've got a heat lamp that's gonna imitate the sun. We've got a little device here that measures the basic heat that comes off of it. So when I turn on the heat lamp, this thing, you can't see it right now, but it's reading 100. We can take a piece of regular glass and this represents the glass that you have in your house. So when I put that in front of it, okay, it's still 100%. It's doing nothing to stop the heat. Everything about it is all about just passing the heat right through. Both two types of heat, by the way. When we put insulated glass in front of it, all of a sudden, everything drops to less than 10. Less than 10%. Now, a lot of people will tell you that that's the only way to do it. I have a piece of glass here that has what's called low E. Now this is laminated glass, it's not insulated, it has no argon gas, it has no sacrificial layer. And when I put it in front of the heat lamp, I get the exact same rating that I did with the insulated glass. So once again, we can achieve the same results without adding 15 to 20% to your cost. So now you can just see partially what's gonna happen when we do that in-home consultation. So give USA Windows and Doors a call. Our number is 954-951-8740. Better yet, check us out on our website, usawindowsanddoors.com. We're here to help you and provide you with a solution that makes sense. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Mike. So, Marielle, when it comes to paint, a lot of us are guilty of keeping it for too many years, and then when you go to touch it up and you open the can, 
that paint is either dried out, old, or not usable, or maybe the color won't match. So paint is not gonna last longer than maybe um, three, five years if well kept. And what I mean by well kept is once that you've used it, you've sealed it correctly. So hammer that down. Hammer that down, <laughs> exactly. You're storing it in a cool place. So you wanna check on your paint periodically because paint, just like food, if it smells bad the minute that you open it, it is no longer Time good. to get rid of it. So when you open your paint, and for example, you find that it smells, this one does have a smell to separated it. Separated like. It is very much separated. And that's okay because paint is made up of different kind of binders, resins, and so on and so, so you forth. Can stir it. So you can stir it. However, it is too watering and it's not drying in its adequate amount of time. This is time to go ahead and move on. What is the best way for anyone at home to discard their paint and the safest way for the environment? What you can do is you can call a waste management disposal company that specializes in these kind of hazardous materials. Another thing that you might, you can try if you would like is call your nearest uh, paint company. They will also have sometimes people come and pick up paint. And now when it comes to also one of the things I've always I've encouraged homeowners to do is to take a picture of the label. So yeah, so the label is the most important thing. Please take a picture of it even before opening the can because I'm guilty of it. I make a mess when I paint. <laughs> so and then it covers the it. label. Now what about if you need to match color? Perhaps a rug, a fabric, we could obviously bring it into the store and yes. I know they could match from that. Once again that Color Snap Match app is okay. going to have another application within it. Match a photo. So for instance you would click on it, you can take a picture or upload one if you already have it. So if I'm going to take a photo of this particular fabric. Lighting is key so make okay. sure that you are taking with the best light possible. Seven little circles will pop up with seven different colors. Basically, you can kind of drop, kind of drag it through to get that actual, and yes. different colors are popping up on the bottom. Here, you're gonna be able to see every kind of color that it's picking up. Also gives you the paint information Once as again, well. yes. This is awesome. Coming up next, the advantages of selecting fade-resistant paint for your home's exterior on SoFlo Home Project. You've probably seen the Good Greek trucks on the road, and uh, they are more than just the best looking trucks on the road. Uh, Good Greek has the largest fleet of any moving company, and these trucks are new when we first buy them and fully equipped with the latest technology. Having the largest fleet in the state, customers never have to experience the common excuse in the industry of our truck broke down or we're running late. Uh, we always have a backup trucks, we have backup crews, we can always cover our jobs and we're doing over a hundred jobs a day at times. All of our trucks are brand new when we purchase them and they come fully equipped with the latest in technology including cameras, backup systems, and now we're going to also have driver assist in the latest trucks, which keeps the truck in lane and helps braking uh, as it approaches another vehicle or object. So customers can be assured that their belongings are gonna get there safely because we've done our due diligence in the hiring process with who we put behind the wheel, but we also give that driver all the advantages of the best equipment possible. We have a large enough fleet that we can actually specialize in not just residential moving, but also in commercial moving. Uh, we move a lot of businesses, quite often after hours, and quite often across country. Good Greek can help you whether it's a small move or a large move, local, long distance, residential or commercial, and we've got all the equipment that's necessary to handle any type of move, but just as important, perhaps more important, we've got the right people, properly trained, skilled, and professional. Good Greek, moving is so rich, your superhero movers. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to talk about all things paint here at Sherwin Williams in Fort Lauderdale with Marielle DeCirco. Marielle, so we have talked about kind of selecting the right color. We've talked about a lot of different tips when it comes to paint, but I think one of the biggest things really that we get asked all the time is exterior paint colors. Just general knowledge about exterior paint. That's one of the biggest painting projects. So you want to get it right the first time. 
Right, absolutely. So once you've honed in on the color that you like is whether or not that color is going to work. So right. what are some of the things that we have to think about? Obviously not just the color itself, mm -hmm. but is it the type of color for the area you're painting in? Yeah, so the type of color and also just the product that you put that color into it makes a huge difference. For example, one of the popular colors that we do have here is Greek Villa. And if you were to choose this color, you know already to look at the back of it, you're gonna see something called the light reflective value. What does light reflective value mean? It is a scale of zero to 100, and it's telling us how much light is being bounced back off the surface. So do we want it to be higher or lower here in South Florida? We want it to be higher, um, because here in South Florida we have a lot of sun, and after time, it's gonna start to fade. You want high quality paint? High quality paint. On the exterior, because you're not doing this every, no. You know, two, three years. This is a, you want it to last for quite a few years. For um, Greek Villa, we see here that the light reflective value is telling us it's an 84. And this is great because a couple of things. So when the sun starts coming into any outside surface and, and starts hitting that paint and it starts to fade, when you start to touch up, it's not going to be something that you're going to be thinking that you're going to touch up an entire area because you're not going to see that difference so You're not going to get like that patchy and spottiness as much as you would with something with a lower light reflective value. Exactly. The the higher quality paint that you, you put your color in, it's obviously going to give you a plethora of additional characteristics. So the coverage tends to be better, the, the hue, the, just the, the, in general the color, right? The right. Color retention is one of the key aspects that we have in our higher quality paint. Another one is hide. So you want to be able to hide whatever previous color was already on that surface that also just really have that even color appeal throughout. Okay. Um, there's also a self-cleaning aspect and that's Emerald Rain Refresh, which which is great in South Florida when you have those white homes, just like when we're wearing a white dress. We want to maintain. It's a little hard to maintain, <laughs> and you want to keep it clean and you want to keep it fresh. And so every time that it rains, it helps wash off all the dirt and grime wow. that's on that. Yes. So that's really cleaning. a great thing to think about because sometimes people might shy away from saying, "I don't want to use the light color because I'm worried about that." Exactly. So, so a lot of things to think about, but it, it seems to be easy now that you're helping us break it down, yeah. telling us what to look for, telling us what to use. So we've got more to talk about. We're going to share some favorite colors and some other great things, so stay with us. Next, I'll share some of my favorite paint colors and design tips on SoFlo Home Project. These are great colors actually coming. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to share tips about all things paint here at Sherwin-Williams with design account executive Marielle Basurko. Marielle, I thought it would be really fun to share with our viewers some favorite colors, as well as some ways when we're putting together a project here. I, I pulled a few samples from one of my past design projects so we could kind of share how using the paint deck works in actual uh, setting with materials. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we want to keep in mind is when we're choosing colors, I'm going to give you some technical, you know, wordage. For example, we see here immediately the color samples that are pulled out, they're blue, right? Now within that color family of blues, you're gonna see just Many colors. Many, 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 <laughs> many kinds of blues. Of blue. <laughs> right, blues with, you know, with a gray undertone, with a green undertone, so on and so forth. And so here we actually have that you pick out these gorgeous colors that do very, very well with what we're seeing here. Um, for example, little boy blue. Yeah. This with some of the fabrics. Such exactly. A good match. And then not only that, but once again, if we're looking for something a little darker, we once again, within that same family, we can just go ahead and just go down this. Go down that family of exactly that we see here in that that strip. In this particular project, we went with a really light wall color. In this case, it was a bedroom. We did the wall behind the bed for that maximum impact but wanted everything else to feel light and almost beachy. So cotton was such a great kind of mix. And then as you can see, that cotton is not just like a white, stark white. It's still within that warm kind of feel for it. I absolutely love this color, but I wanted to share a few other favorites here from Sherwin Williams. As designers, I feel like there's always these, these go-tos, right? Go-to favorite colors. 
So we always love to share that with viewers because I think, of course, we have so many great options. So I picked out some of my favorites here and probably agree on that one of the best colors is agreeable gray. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a perfect neutral. It's not a blue gray. No, it's a warm gray. So yes. it's gonna have a different, it's not gonna have that blue cool tone to it underneath. Absolutely. And so yeah, it is a warmer color. Now, one of my other favorites is um, repost gray, just for a darker gray. That color has been very popular for many years here um, in South Florida. And did you know, um, actually grays are, those are colors that are help enhance concentration. Oh, that's so a great tip there. <laughs> It's a great color to use. I have a couple of other options when it comes to those warmer whites. We had just seen cotton, which we loved. Yes. I also love creamy and ivory lace. Oh, yeah. As well as alabaster. And alabaster is incredibly popular. It goes well with just about any warm kind of color. Rounding it out, one that I always love is Greek Villa. It's a great yes. color for accenting sort of the accent of the trim pieces on the exterior of a home. Yes. I'm glad that it works indoors and out. Yes. Great color. And I really have enjoyed this day, Mario, learning more about paint the colors, all of the different tips and tricks that you shared throughout the day. This has been awesome and we truly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I love being here and I hope um, everybody was able to get something out of it. It was a great day. Thank you. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we tour South Florida's monument to lost love, the Coral Castle Museum. Learn how one man single-handedly built this remarkable property in the 1920s. And before we go, let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's up to tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? Hey, Lena. Tomorrow on SoFlo Health, we'll check out some soups when you need a healthy pick-me-up. Personal trainer Morgan Shapiro will help you learn how to stay flexible and moving well. Woo! Nice job. Oh, there we go. And you've got a mini golf partner in SoFlo H2O host Olivia Ray. All of that and more is on SoFlo Health tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. on the one and only Local 10. Thanks, Hunter. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. And we look forward to seeing you again next week for another all-new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.